Hi guys. Hello. Thank you for this opportunity. You are the first one with such a vehicle in my channel. Yeah. So tell me, what is this model? What is this bicycle? Well, actually, that's a that's a tandem bike, uh, not the usual one because the, the the passenger is in the front and is pedaling like sitting. A recumbent, it's called a semi-recumbent uh, tandem. And uh, the captain, so to so to say, is just behind with the steering wheel, just like in the normal position, and that allows to have. Uh, different levels for the heads and then everyone sees the same landscape so and then we have this this little uh, trailer that we built actually for for this travel uh, because we had to take with us our kid a small kid with the, he's almost three years old and he's traveling with us quite nicely he, he loves it he loves his little house camping car actually yeah, like a small camper for him so yeah and we had to put the solar panels on top yeah we choose to build it uh, and not buy one from the from the shop because we, that's an electric bike an e-bike and since the whole thing is quite heavy and we don't want to spend just time on the flat spaces like along the rivers we also like mountains so we, we don't we don't fear big hikes like thousand meters uh, hike climbs up uh, in a few hours like two hours it, it does the job with the motor that allows us to to carry like something like uh, in the end more than 200 kilos the whole thing and uh, yes we are kind of independent self-sufficient uh, regarding energy because the battery is here in front there uh, which provides energy for the motor and uh, all the electronic equipment and it's uh, charged over the day while while uh, riding cycling or when we stop by two solar panels uh, which are each uh, 100 watts and they they go then to the to the battery um, to provide energy to the battery so with that we can provide like uh, autonomy of uh, something like 80 to 80 to 100 kilometers a day uh, depending on the on the slope uh, well that's that's enough for us because we just like ride four to five hours a day well that's about it uh, it's used as a as a trailer for the kids as well as a, a trunk for for our bags and we put our and bags some food in it so we can be self-sufficient for three or four days beside water yeah okay so uh, let's say you use a tent for sleeping we use and tent. can i see the truck you put everything inside sure uh yeah that, Our two bags. these are the bags these are some clothes from uh your clothes and clothes. the kids clothes these are my clothes sleeping bag and then <laughs> and then we put that everything in it that's here's some um you know uh, cooking things here's some fresh things we need to keep cold so it's there uh, protected from the warmth in the okay. shadow and then it's all fits in there and, uh, it's kind of a kind of a trunk we don't have much much things because that you have to carry it, so yeah. just this thing that we we build it ourselves. You know, it's a it's a thing we cut we connect the, to the bike battery, and then it provides us some uh, uh, charging for like DSLR um, battery, or even with a connector and adapter, uh, a computer uh, supply power supply. So we don't have to go to the to the 220 volts. That's, yeah. that's practice. And yeah, this is very clever for me. Independent. You don't have to make uh, 220 DC, DC. Uh, it's just DC, DC converter, and then okay. it's, it's quite useful. Nice. And can you tell me what is your experience with this bike till today? 
Well, so far uh, it's been quite good. We just it's our first travel with this bike. Uh, we traveled like so from France through the Balkans on the on the west side of the Balkans through Bosnia and Herzegovina and Montenegro, Albania, North Macedonia uh, to here, almost 3,000 kilometers. It went really nice. Well, the the trailer is not made for for a gravel road, uh, definitely. We ri we rode some gravel roads, but it's it's shaky for 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 the kid, and it's not good for the for for the bike itself. Uh, but sometimes you cannot avoid it, so we prefer sometimes to take a, sh a few kilometers of gravel road instead of busy, very busy roads. Then it's it's better, and and it's very nice because we're all together with this kind of bike. We're not we all going forward at the same rhythm and that's that's really nice we can discuss either uh, with Irina I can discuss with her and I can discuss also with Timote behind me we can we are all in the same train so that's that's very comfortable and we enjoy that to, to, to be in the same in the same train so nice guys yeah my congratulations it's very important to travel this is the it's never mind what way it's important to travel and I wish you a lot of luck. <laughs> You're my hero in my eyes <laughs> with this little kit. So I want to show people that there Thank is you. you can always travel one or another way. Yeah. Okay. Thank bon you. voyage. Merci. Thank you.